Question six, what are unicellular organisms and give examples? Okay, so let's try to, even if we just analyze the word unicellular, since there's a prefix of uni, we know that uh, this means one, and cellular, well, that just means like a cell. So therefore, unicellular means a single-celled organism. So these single-celled organisms are able to perform vital functions that are necessary for life. There's a lot of different examples of unicellular organisms. So I'll just list a few. You can have like a paramecium or amoeba, even yeast or bacteria, just to name a few. Let's try to sketch out a bacteria cell. So these thin like hair looking strands are known as pili. And then the tail of the bacteria is the flagellum. So even though these are unicellular, they all kind of looked uh, slightly different if you were to look through them in a microscope. So for example, this is like what a bacteria might look like. And amoeba. I always thought it looked like an egg. Almost like it has like different things like this. I'm not a good sketcher. But yeah, these are unicellular organisms. And the junior tutor said that they are single celled organisms or living organisms which are made up of only one cell. This single cell performs and regulates all the vital functions necessary for life. These organisms are very small that they are mostly invisible to the naked eye. Some examples of unicellular organisms are bacteria, protozoa, algae, and yeast. Yep. So the solution is correct.